I created the Star Wars opening crawl and here is everything you need to know to create it in Blender as well. Or you could download it below. The first thing we want to do is delete everything in our scene and add a camera, position it to the 3D cursor by making it the X, Y and Z zero. The rotation should be pointed straight ahead, pointing 90 degrees on the X and zero on the Y and Z. I then moved the camera to a place I preferred, but this is not really that important, so just put it anywhere that you feel comfortable putting it. Okay, now we can get onto the text by adding it into our scene. I went into edit mode so I can change what it says and made it say Star Wars. The first thing I did was change the line spacing to 0.5. You can see why I do this shortly. I also changed the font to Star Jedi Regular that I downloaded from Defont. The alignment for this first text is going to be center on the horizontal. Once the text was done, I converted it into a mesh and joined the letters that overlapped, otherwise we would get some clipping and it would create for lighting issues. I made a slight change to the length of the S and R as detail is key. I did have to delete some of the faces of the T as it was creating for some artifacts because of how it was converted into a mesh. I then selected all the mesh and inverted the faces and deleted them so we were left with the borders of the words. You can see why I joined the R and the S otherwise it wouldn't have worked. We then want to add a material that is a banana yellow. The hex code will be in the description for those who want it. I also gave the Star Wars text an omission of the same colour but everything else that we will do from now on will not need an omission. Time to position it. We want to get it so that the top of the star and the bottom of wars is on the border of the camera. The Star Wars title starts in front of our camera and will take 360 frames to travel back if we're going off of 30 frames per second to about 15% of the camera's viewport. I set the keyframes and I made the interpolation linear so it travels at the same speed all the way. I set the passport out to 1 in the camera's properties so that I only see what's in the camera's viewport. Now we have that, we want to add another text and change it to episode and then the number you want with the appropriate Roman numeral. The text font should be a gothic bold and you should change the horizontal alignment to center. I then moved the text up so I could add the film title. This is just the same of what I did for the episode text but I made sure it was all in bold and then I stretched it a bit then positioned it appropriately. Now the part most of you were wondering how to do which is create the paragraphs. The first thing I did was pasted my best attempt at creating my own prologue to write your own. The things I learned was that there are three parts comprised of mostly one sentence with one occasional being two sentences long. The final part also always ends with four decimal points. Finally, the last thing to keep in mind is only one or two words that are grouped together are usually in all caps, excluding if you're Disney with the sequel trilogy where they included two sets of words that were all in caps. The horizontal and alignment should be justified, that way it will fill our text box that we will add. Make sure you have a gap between the three different parts, go to the text box in the object data properties of our prologue, change the X size to 10 and the X offset to minus 5, this way it centers. The next thing is to position the text in the right position at an angle just below the camera and using the local transform we can then move it into its final position at frame 2430. Set the interpolation to linear. This took a lot of fixing to get the right position and I changed the camera's aspect ratio to be similar to the films at 2538 pixels on the X and 1080 on the Y. I got this by setting both to 1080 and timesing the X by 2.35. We have now set everything up, all that is left to do is fade the text at the right time. The first one I did was the Star Wars part which is very simple. All you have to do is go to the material and change the blend mode to alpha blend and set a keyframe at 330 frames for the alpha channel at 1, then move forward to 360 frames and then set a keyframe where the alpha is zero. Before I set up the rest of the fading text, 
I wanted to set up the background for the scene. I started by creating a starry background using a color ramp and a noise texture. The noise texture was set to a scale of 200 and a detail at zero. I then added an area light that has a power of 1000 and I resized this. The area light is meant to light the words whilst also allowing them to become darker the further they are away in the scene. I then began figuring out the texture nodes for the prologue. I figured out a node setting that we can manipulate to get the text to fade but it requires you to set it up individually for the prologue, title and episode number. It is comprised of a gradient texture connected to a mapping node followed by a texture coordinate that is all plugged into the alpha channel of the principal BSDF. On the mapping node, change the rotation of the Z to 90 and then you can change the location of the X to create the fade within the mapping node. The main prologue should begin fading at 2340 and finishing at 2430, whilst the title should start fading 10 frames before the prologue and finish at frame 2340 whilst the episode number should start 10 frames before the title and finish fading at the same time as the title begins fading. A lot of information, I know, it's hard to cover everything without confusing you as the viewer. If you want to see what the final result looks like, click the video on the left and consider subscribing if you found the video useful. Also, remember there is a download link in the description for this Blender file if you need it.